Uh, my name is uh, Chi Ting Chen, I'm from Hong Kong and I do research on uh, the theory of uh, wave equations and material science and uh, one of the topics that I have been working on in the past couple of years is about uh, uh, immersibility clocks. A, a so-called a clock works by uh, guiding the wave away from an object and if you ask me, you say that, uh, you know, who cares? Why, why should I have such a technology? And one uh, application that I can think about is, for example, um, you want to exclude uh, a wave from a certain uh, area, a certain domain, uh, to protect yourself. Say, for example, uh, an earthquake is coming. Now, earthquake is, in fact, a kind of wave, a vibration of the earth crust. And you say that, okay, I do not want the um, uh, earthquake to affect my community, uh, and then in principle, uh, I would say in principle, in practice, it's not easy, but in principle, you can design a clock around the city so as to guide uh, the earthquake wave away from the community to somewhere else in which the damage is less. It is about designing uh, materials uh, that can do uh, wonders. And it turns out that uh, for most of the time, uh, the materials, uh, take for example uh, the invisibility clock, uh, the material needed uh, cannot be found in nature and then we have to design them, we have to make them and this type of uh, knowledge uh, in the long run can help industry to uh, uh, design new materials that can go beyond, go beyond what the materials in nature can do for us.